Aries, how are you? This is your mid-October tarot reading. Um, it's for Aries. If you've got Aries anywhere in your chart, you may resonate. Thank you for subscribing and thanks for giving the video a thumbs up because it does help it to reach more people. Um, so we're going to ask Spirit for a message for Aries. For, um, for mid-October. Gabriel. Okay, so ask your angels. Well, it could be spirit guides if you don't really believe in angels. Um, ask your spirit guides, angels, for helpful people to lighten your load. Uh, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Right, okay, this is the Ten of Wands then. Um, so Ten of Wands energy here. Um, basically, you're sort of kind of very determined in October. And you're going to find yourself um, absolutely, there's, nothing's going to get in your way. I'm telling you that now. Um, you know, this is confirmation, really, that you've got the grit <laughs> to to freaking make things happen your way and live your life your way. And you, you're just not going to, um, you're just not going to let people get in your way, you know. Um, now, the thing is, um, you may find yourself uh, taking on a bit too much and it, it's, just a gentle reminder from spirit really to kind of you know slow down there's no rush <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get to the finish line you're gonna achieve what you've got in your vision um but you know perhaps you're you, you're either rushing it or you're trying to do too many things and there's something you just need to relax on and drop and if you just do that it's gonna be easier for you you know you'll probably find you get where you want to get a bit quicker um, so let's have a look what else we're getting here. Ecstasis, right? Ecstasy. So that's a very good energy. I feel there's going to be quite a lot of fun for you in October. And, um, you're going to be making connections within yourself that make you happy. All right. So there could be some sort of miracle happening for you in October, um, or just like literally, you know, something just suddenly making sense. Suddenly something just shifts for you. Um, and when that happens, it's like that ecstasy feeling of like, oh my God, I've been waiting to feel like this for so long. And finally I do, you know. Um, with that Ten of Wands energy, it is confirmation that, you know, you are really going to get to where you want to be. Um, and, um, ecstasis is a, a similar energy, really, that, that is getting a result, you know? So, um, let's go a bit deeper for you. Two of Swords, Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Y you know, you faced a dilemma. Um, you have faced a dilemma and it's been hard. And it was probably something you didn't really want to look at. You didn't really want to make the decision or you didn't really want to face the reality, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, this is like your one last battle. It's <laughs> um, it, it's like Jesus, you know, you've come so far. You've you've made so many breakthroughs. Yeah. You have actually had a lot of success from all the battles you've had to fight you know so you've you've faced each of your demons each along the way and you, you've been slaying them basically you know and spirit is basically just saying keep the same approach keep doing what you're doing because you're doing the right thing you're going in the right direction and then um, you are basically on the last bit I can see Gilbert Gilbert is just he's annoying me a little bit because he's just like mooching around and he just sat on my legs a minute ago um and I couldn't move. So um, it's distracting. Um, so, yeah, uh, basically, you know, you're you're nearly there. Right. You're nearly there. And I feel with these cards, you know, come mid-October, Knight of Pentacles, you're going to start feeling yourself settle down. Um, you know, you're going to be 
in control, um, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happier because it's not going to feel like the battle that it has been feeling like for you in your life. Um, you're going to feel like, yes, <laughs> finally, I get it. You know, I know what I'm doing. I get it. This is it now, you know. And, and it's like you're committed. You're, you're committed to yourself. You're so committed to yourself. Um, and it means you are taking the more conscious decisions. Um, you know, and you start to get real results because your energy is a lot more settled. Your energy is a lot more better. So then money, money is coming in for you better. Um, and even sort of friendships, relationships as well. Um, but it feels like you're sort of stable, like in control of it, you know, like you're settled. Um, and you could be getting money from multiple sources as well. The Knight of Pentacles is a very good card to get. So if you're feeling a bit wobbly or you're feeling a bit fraught um, because you've sort of been torn in different directions, um, I feel Spirit is saying to you, look, just hang in there the next few weeks because it's going to get better. Um, let's have a look at um, what's going on for your person. You've got here uh, somebody with the Queen of Swords energy. Um, they they probably seem quite cold and they like to be in control at the moment in their life. And the reason is they're quite bitter. Okay, This person's quite bitter and they've obviously had some difficulties. Right now, um, we've all had difficulties, haven't we? And, and that's what I think for you. It's a bit like, oh, you know, you're not the only one. <laughs> we've all had difficulties. And, um, but this person has, and it's made them quite cold and quite bitter. The thing is, the boundaries they put up or the way they are, it's just a reaction really, because they're actually just trying to sort themselves out and sort their own life out. It's not really against you. Um, you know, even though for you, it probably has felt like a pain. Um, but anyway, I feel you're on the last, whatever you've been doing with this person, uh, lately just keep doing it keep the same approach because it's going to work and you're going to come out the other side a lot more solid and in your power which obviously makes you more attractive and ma makes you more abundant because the more you're connected to yourself the more you're connected to spirit the more abundance flows in for you um and um so it really looks to me like mid-october up to mid-october it's going to feel a bit testing but as once you get to hit, when you hit mid-October, it's like, oh, thank God for that. I feel better. Um, I feel more me again. Um, and I'm not going to let this person mess with me, really. Um, I don't think this person's messing with you on purpose. I honestly think it's because they're trying to sort their own life out. But it's not done you any favours. I think it has been challenging. Um, let's see what either this person's thinking or perhaps it's somebody else. I don't know what to say to you. I think you've sort of been mirrors to each other and they didn't really know how to handle a situation. You didn't really know how to handle it. But in the end, I think you're the one that takes the ball by the horns and says, you know what, this is what I need to do for me. Um, now, um, I think that person will still want contact with you. I think they'll still want to work with you uh, in whatever capacity this is, whatever type of relationship this is. Um and um, I think you've just got to keep very, just remember your first number one commitment has to be to yourself because self is spirit, you know, and if you do that, you can't go wrong. Um, I think that is exactly what you're going to do with that King of Pentacles energy and you're going to come out on top. You've got that ecstasis energy. So I think you're just going to, something's going to click for you mid-October and you're going to be like, ah, good, <laughs> I've got it, I've got it, baby. Um, there's no way that person can walk all over you. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen because you're, you're getting your affairs in order. Um, your spirit guys are saying the great gathering, it is all coming together. Intuitive hits and a soul tribe. It is all coming together for you, Aries. It really is. And that's why I keep saying hang in there the next like four weeks or so. Um, well, even not four weeks, is it really? Two weeks, next two weeks. Just hang in there because... 
all of a sudden your spirit guides, they're supporting you in the background and you're going to feel much more supported um, come mid-October. You're going to feel a lot more settled. So that's the message. I hope it's helpful. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. And if you do want to book in for a reading, do contact me. I have got the more affordable option reading available now. So you can always ask me about that. Peace.